Well, hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. So, last time we went to. Well, we went through the first part of Magma Rock. We climbed the outside and now we are descending on the inside. Well, the second floor is a little bit more complex than the first. Instead of filling this room with lava, we want to check out what's down here first. The goal is basically to destroy that pillar over there. So, first, let's get into a battle with a leaf. That I can one shot without even a critical hit. Good to know. Thanks, Jenna. Ooh. Oh, it's a 41. It's. Some random mass genie. Who cares what it's called, right? Don't dodge. Dire Inferno. It's so dire that. Well, it's dire. Basically. As long as Chin don't run, they are not really. A big deal in combat. <laughs> but we get the Mars Chini Furry. Let's check it out. This is the final chin Chini that I want to set to Felix. I may reconsider once I find the final fire chin. Chini frigging. But, yeah, this is looking pretty nice, isn't it? Felix the Chaos Lord. And oddly enough, he has less HP than Chenna, I believe. No, he doesn't. Oh, there was current HP. Never mind. She's pretty damn close, though. <laughs> Look at that attack power! 640! Nice! <laughs> Very nice! <laughs> what kind of chin am I still missing anyway? <laughs> but all of them... Seems like I'm missing two Mercury, two Venus, Chin, and... Well, one Fire, one Jupiter. So, the next step is gonna be flooding this room with the lava, but first... Let's push this pillar so we can actually get across here. It's gonna be useful, trust me. Unless, of course, this chart comes by. How uh, why are you damaged, Shiba? Freaking Shiba. So, lava me up, yo. I'm pretty sure on every floor there's only one statue. That will spew lava. But there may be several floodgates. Also, I don't think there's anything down here. But we can see. Go away! I trust you, Shiba. There, Chenna. That's the exit. That's our goal. And we can't really do anything to the left of here. Yet. Or at least not from this side. So get past the switch somehow and... Across the floodgate, because that works. And we can go this way. I know I can't get this. Hold on. Yes. Need to wait at least one cycle less. One less cycle, whatever. Um, 
pretty sure we've seen all of you already. But... Eh. Maybe a little death is going to... Ooh, you didn't die? How? Well... That wasn't particularly interesting. Maybe I should edit out battles from here on out. Because I'm pretty sure we've seen all the enemies by now. Oh, this room is kind of mean. You only get one chance to jump on this thing because it won't come back. It's just kind of gonna stop there. Oh well. Well, in this room I feel like you're supposed to get on that left platform. But... We can just do this, really? Which would also have been the solution in the frigging um, trial road puzzle, where these pillars appeared. Can you spell overkill, Felix? Because, like, seriously? <laughs> but yeah, I feel like you're supposed to ride the left platform there to that statue and use it to blow up this pillar. Which is incidentally the same pillar that has been blocking our way earlier. And now we get a shortcut back to the floodgate room. Yay! And we are ready to go to the next floor. Great. Go away, you guys suck. No, I'm not in a mood of cutting out battles, especially because, well, Enemies die kind of quickly if you're strong, when you're strong. <laughs> Yay, third floor. This is where thing, things start to get really fun. That pillar is blocking our way to the exit. We need it down there in order to, so we can jump across there and go through the door. If that makes any sense. And there's a lot of treasure about. About? About. A boot? A boot. This kills the raging rock. And this is gonna fill the room with lava, which is exactly what we need. This room can also be filled with lava from the left hand side. But I don't think I'm gonna be using that statue there. Nah. I don't think it's possible to get the first cycle, but you never know. Also, one other thing, you can't get that cycle either. Get to wait! Yay! Not a fan of the waiting game. But what can you do? That looks like fun. <laughs> or it might actually be here that another Mars Chin Mars Chini appears if you had found all of the Golden Sun Chin. Look, dude, I attack first. What's your problem? Freaking Phoenix. So, from here... I wanna set Gale, because that's the only whirlwind spell I have currently. 
Yeah. <laughs> and use Gale to hop across here. There shouldn't have been anything else to the right of here. Nothing we can't do anything about right now, anyway. I'm getting the salamander tail now, because if I get it later, I get to wait one cycle on this stupid thing. <laughs> but wait, there's more. We can also punch this guy's face and actually there's one enemy that we haven't seen I don't think oh well maybe one day so we can make us not exactly a shortcut this is the way forward <laughs> and there's a treasure in this room up here also a floodgate that we be that we will be using later it's a golem core. There's only one fortune material that we haven't seen yet. So that's a thing. Now I wonder, there is a shortcut down here. But you know what I think I'm gonna take. Also, this is why we need that pillar. <laughs> Otherwise, we are gonna be getting through that door. Anyway... Well, don't you know, this should be the final enemy that we haven't seen here yet. The Grand Chimera. That was the Grand Chimera. Technically, I think the waiting game is a little bit shorter if you use the left statue. Because you'll need to take less platforms to get to where you need to be. But... Dang it! <laughs> Um, going around the, the long way it takes time too, you know? So this should still be shorter than using the left statue. So now that we are down here with the lava up, is that the chest that had the salamander tail in it? Earlier? That's the room with the chains. Because, as we all know, every dungeon needs a room with chains. <laughs> and that platform is one annoying trick. Oh well. This should also be the final platform thing. So that's nice. And we finally made it to the other side of this pillar. Can I like just run away? Yay. I don't want to fight three of those guys anymore. <laughs> How about, you know, screw you guys. Especially you. Ouch! <laughs> Ooh, someone learned pure play. You stole 1000 HP! Yeah. 
If only I had someone who had 1000 HP. You can probably break the 1000 HP limit easily if you just grind a little bit. <clears throat> oh yeah. We want to not take this shortcut because that would be silly. <clears throat> it would also not be a shortcut. <clears throat> we wanted to drain the lava so we could actually walk down here. And get above the entrance. Oh yeah. With a pillar out of the way, we can go that way. Or we can quickly head out the entrance. Yep. This is where we fought that mimic yesterday. And I only exited there because I want to set reset the point that retreat would bring me to. Hmm, wonder what that is. Oh. No. Please don't hit me. <clears throat> Ooh. A shiny one. I like the shiny rock. But I can't get to it from here. There's a flame in the way. And I can't just douse it away. I think, anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Well, guess what way, we, what way we are not going back to from can be? Yes. Go get him, Chana. Blaze it. You're not supposed to receive the energy before you go through the light show. Silly Chenna. <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> Excuse me. So, now that we have that, I quickly want to set my L button to move again. But we can now use blaze to manipulate flames. Nice. As you stand in front of a flame, and the direction you're looking, you'll be shooting the flames. And that's how all these things work, by the way. <coughs> The torch pedestal phase. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, three of you guys. Nah. Dang it. Can you, like, just go away? Or something. Leave me alone. You know what? We'll be using a void for the rest of the dungeon. Just so I can have my peace and quiet. And yes, I had to heal up. Absolutely. Well... I seem to recall there is another torch thingy over there. Let's place it. Oh yeah. This exhausts the usefulness for Blaze for the rest of the game. <laughs> That's probably not true, but it would be kind of funny if it was. Yes, touch the hot stone. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Well, that thing's frozen now. Oh well, let's get out of here. We. And thanks to me taking that exit earlier, we can just. Wander out. I wonder if there's something 
hidden beneath beyond within these columns. You know what? I'll try that until next time and I'll meet you outside of Magma Rock then where we'll be traveling to our next destination. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Next time we'll figure out what to do with the magma ball that we got. It's not like you have any information on it. Yeah, thanks for that game. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, this is Legion and fairly well.